G'day you lot, how's it going? A few of you may have noticed that even though the whole reason we all bought Afro ESCs is because you can easily flash them with a USB tool, most of them don't actually flash with a USB tool. This is the problem you get, right? Verification error. First mismatch at byte 0000. This is how you fix it. The problem is that for some reason they've forgotten to enable the bootloader, which means USB function isn't enabled. So what we're going to have to do is flash them like everyone else flashes their ESCs, using these pads here. You'll need to cut away the heat shrink. I use a scalpel, but you can use any kind of sharp knife, a box cutter or something. I can't hold my camera and cut at the same time, so I'll be back. I didn't even cut away the heat shrink, I just made a slit in it down the side so you can slip the contacts in. For this part you'll need a chunk of wood, some old bits of wire, the scraps that I cut off resistors and things, and some Zekundenkleber, super glue. Super glue six pieces of wire to the wood so that they're exactly the same distance apart as the pads on the ESC. Bend some up and some down so you can attach servo style headers to them. The Afro wisely gives you five labels for six pads and you have to figure out which ones go where. So follow this diagram. If you're using a Turnigy 6 pin ASP from Hobby King, these are the connections. If your ASP has 10 pins, look at the picture on the right, but this is from the top view, so if you're plugging stuff in, it'll be mirrored from the right to left. These are the settings you want on the KK programmer. I assume you already know what this is, as you needed it for the USB tool anyway. You may need to download the USB ASP driver from official.de. Notice how in the choose your controller section I've chosen to enable bootloader. This will enable the bootloader. So from here on out, you'll be able to use the USB tool, but don't choose to enable the bootloader when using that. Slide the pins in under the heat shrink, press the wires up against the contacts with your thumb, press run, and voila, it's flashed. 